Hey guys, welcome to Toy Shop. Today we're gonna to be restringing a recoil on a Formula Deluxe 500. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy. All right, so on this sled, it's pretty easy to get the recoil off. There was just four little bolts around here. They were super easy to get to. So I got the recoil off. I did have to cut the string because what had happened is, what had happened is it pulled the guts all out of this outside sheathing. And then this wadded up in the little metal tube that helps guide the string up to where the pull cord sits. So I got all this cut out of there. And uh, the spring steel fit feels good. So I think we can just get away with restringing it. First thing we gotta do, because the spring's not broke, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to pull this all the way out and then hold on to it with my thumb, cut the knot off the old string, thread the new string up in, tie a knot on that, and then just let it suck itself back in. That's gonna be hopefully best case scenario. There's a little clip right here on top. A little snap ring, we're gonna pop that off. Set that there. I'm gonna pull this little brass colored spring out of here. All right. And pop this other circle clip off. Now that just lifts up out of there. All right, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's dirty, but there's a little wedge in there. That's all that holds the string in, is you just kind of tap a little wedge grippy block thing in there and it pinches that string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the new string cut first to length and get that kind of prepped and then we're gonna go from there. All right, I bought this recoil rope off Amazon, so we're gonna give it a shot. It's uh called True Blue Heavy Commercial Starter Rope. Um, most sleds take 730 seconds um, recoil rope. So that's what this is. This is a spool of 100 foot. I think it cost me like 30 bucks. So really it wasn't that bad. I want to usually pay like a dollar a foot if you go to the shop and buy it. So we're gonna give this a whirl. The rule of thumb that I was taught for the length of a recoil rope is you wanna be able to pull the recoil handle all the way back to about the back bumper. So I'm about six foot tall, so my wingspan's about six foot. So if I put one hand about where the recoil is and spread my wings, my, my wings, my arms out, um, I can about touch the back bumper. So I just cut a heavy six foot of rope and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try that. Once I got it cut, it's gonna fray if we don't melt it back. So usually I take a lighter. I have this little butane torch thing. And there it goes. So. Get her good and hot. And then you kind of stick a rag over it, squeeze and pull. Now that should make a pretty good, small, sealed up end. This recoil rope is now prepped. All right, so I got my assistant helping me. Because there's that little wedge block in there, I got the little tail pulled out right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down on this recoil housing and Brooke is gonna pull this rope out all the way while I'm holding down on it. And then once we get it pulled all the way out, I'm gonna hold the plastic piece with my fingers and then she's gonna pull on this string to get that wedge block pulled out of there. So I keep pulling. That's good. All right, you can let go of the rope now. Now I pull that part? Yep, but you gotta pull it towards my right. Should I go on this Yep. Side? All right, yep, now I'm grabbing the other Is end of it. Is it supposed to come off? Yep, I'm gonna go to the other end. I can, wait. Nope, no. there's a knot there. All okay. right, now take the new rope. Yep, see how it's stuck out? I don't know how this goes on. All right, you gotta, you know, not that much rope. Like this much rope, okay? Then we're gonna take this little guy, teeth that way. Oh, he's slipping. Hey. So he needs to go like this. Yep. 
but it needs to be, hang on, hang on. Really, I guess that should have been. All right, now pull on the rope. All right, that's good enough. All right, now that rope is in there. Now we're going to tie like that type of knot in the end in there. Yep, just so it doesn't get sucked back through. All right. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but that wedge is now in there. And now I can let go. Now while you're doing that whole thing, you might want to make sure you don't tip this upside down because then this plastic piece is going to fall out and your spring is going to let go in there. And then you do have to do it all over. So before I get too carried away, we're going to put all this back together and then we're going to test it out. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Fit up. Secure the baggy, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the baggy, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day one. Try speak up, can't say none. Try dig dirt, there ain't none. I make the money, that save up. 10 to 80, my save ones. Take the top from the base one. New car, race on. Fast lane. Now human, I ain't from another planet. I'ma teleport, might vanish. I'ma wake up, do damage. Join number seven, he's bored up. Working all night, need more though. I remember nights I was poor though. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. good enough to me now we're down here on the right side of the motor I had pulled the recoil off and I need to show you guys how I did that but there's one thing this is a ground strap and it goes down here on this recoil bolt right here so I got to not forget that and then after that there's a steel tube down here which you can barely see where the the rope gets threaded up underneath the jack shaft and up to the dash. So once we get the recoil bolted on here, then we're gonna pull a bunch of rope out and then hold on to it, feed the rope up through where it needs to go and then we'll tie the handle on it. All right, so I got this bolted on there good. Now I'm gonna pull some rope out. Undo this knot we did. All right. Now, down here is this tube and we're gonna go up to here, which you can barely see. And that is where the pull cord comes out. We got the end of the rope out here. We're just gonna fish it through. Oops. Tie another knot in it. Probably gonna trim that tail off it so it looks better, but 
Now we have a recoil. Sweet. If this video helped you guys out at all, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm working on a playlist on this slide because there's a there's quite a bit of matter with it. So click on the playlist here or here or down here. There's gonna be a playlist around here somewhere. So if you guys have any other issues with a sled like this, scroll through there. So thanks.